Support for WYES is made possible by Mary Lou Kristovich in memory of her husband, William Kristovich. Welcome to Stepping Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Bob Bruce, co-author and lyricist for a dozen musicals and costume and scenery designer for North Theater for over 30 years. Welcome, Bob. Thank you, Peggy. Good to see you. you too. Good to see you. Lots to talk about. Oh. <laughs> and Poppy Tooker, host of the radio program Louisiana Eats, airing <laughs> twice weekly on WWNO Radio. Good to see you again. Hi. Hello, welcome, Hi, welcome. He's back, David Cuthbert, retired longtime journalist for the Times Speaking Union, including serving as theater critic for many years, and he is the co-author of numerous musicals as well, many with Bob Bruce, and we're so delighted. And um, David, how are you? I'm fine. I'm here for Cinderella Battistella, and I want to remind you of the show, which was about Cinderella Battistella, <laughs> gonna lock her in the cellar. If she gives us any static, we'll stick her in the attic. Cha cha cha, and there'll be no ball tonight for Cinderella. Na 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 na. <laughs> Cha cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> so, show turned children's book. We'll talk lots more about that. Thank you, David. And last but certainly not least, we're so glad he's here. Chef Michael Isolani, executive chef for Trinity Restaurant. Hi. Uh, hi. And How you were you? in Greece when you were little, huh? You were in a, a, a production of I, Greece? Yes, I was in a Greece production, but never made it to. Uh, actually happened because I was too afraid to kiss the young girl. Oh, okay. So instead, you're in the kitchen and we're glad. And now I'm cooking. <laughs> so That's glad to see you. And we're going to be talking about a very special dinner coming up with Chef Michael. But first, speaking of dinner, Miss Poppy, well, we're gonna be what talking an interesting about weekend. <laughs> it, well, you know, only God knows what's going to happen this weekend. But the long and short of it is just about everything was canceled or postponed. And just before we sat down to shoot this, I learned that the Cafe Reconcile Top Chef event, which was scheduled for this Sunday night, has been postponed to 6 p.m. on Thursday, October the 12th. This one coming up. The tickets are $50. It's going to be a really fun night with a lot of great chefs and their teams competing. I'm one of the judges. It goes to Cafe Reconcile. Such a great cause. See you Thursday night. Then, no trouble at all, by Friday the 13th, next week. <laughs> um, that's going to be Magic in the Moonlight. This is the big annual City Park Botanical Gardens fundraiser. It's an alfresco dinner under the stars in the dramatically lit oaks and the proceeds are going to go this year to build an outdoor teaching kitchen Ooh. in the botanical garden so they can have cooking classes and workshops. And of course stepping up to the plate for Magic in the Moonlight is John Fultz. Now, if you have never been to one of John's dinners when he does these sort of historical recreations, well, because of the tricentennial, he is honoring Philippe II, Duke of Orleans, with an over-the-top cocktail reception and a four-course meal. Tickets start at $300. But there's something new this year for people who would like to be a moonlighter. So the moonlighters are the under 45 crowd. We're youngsters <laughs> <those> under 40. <laughs> and those tickets just. The, the top price is $100. You can get two tickets for 80 each, and there's a party within a party that's gonna have a cocktail hour, another dinner put on by Creole Concepts, and dancing. So all that fun in the moonlight at City Park. Some other exciting news is that Poppy's pop-up drag queen brunches are back for hey. this fall. And Michael, I'm so excited because the first one, which of course this all benefits Crescent Care and the No AIDS Task Force, is going to be next Sunday, Sunday, October 15th, 11.30 at Trinity Restaurant. So what are we going to eat at Trinity, Michael? So I'm really excited <laughs> about this. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, the menu is going to be uh, a 
three course menu, two choices for each course. So we're gonna have a great arugula salad for the first course. It's just starting to cool off. We're getting great arugula is growing right now. Um, arugula with feta and tomatoes and olives and everything, great salad. Uh, and then tomato soup, San Marzano tomato soup, which are the best tomatoes you can get. They're from Pompeii, they're packed at the peak of ripeness, they're sent over to us and we make tomato soup. Crostini's with Gruyere cheese. Mm. Um, second course, so this is brunch, so we're doing pancakes, mm. blueberry pancakes, fresh Louisiana blueberries, and we're gonna do a smoked pork hash with grits. Mm -hmm. and sounds lovely. Eggs. So once again, when is all this? Now this, this sounds so great. This is oh. next Sunday, October 15th. Okay. Now the next one coming okay. is on Sunday, October the 29th. Uh -huh. And of course, you know, this is three courses for drag queens. This one's at Two Jacks. Mm -hmm. It's $50 with bottomless mimosas. It's in the room where the ghosts appear all the time. And it's <laughs> Halloween weekend. You're gonna have the balcony and then also Save Our Cemeteries All Saints Soiree is going to be on Thursday, October the 26th in St. Louis Cemetery number three. <laughs> I am the chair of the event and all I can tell you is there's going to be food and drink in front of the tombs of famous restaurateurs right. and the cross-dressing ghosts from Tujac's will be appearing okay. at the Tujac's too. I love that menu. Sounds great. We'll hear more from Chef Michael in just a second. But first, New Orleans Magazine's Quiz Queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Bryce Rickett gave us the names of the British Hotel and the British Prime Minister statue that are near each other. They are, of course, the Windsor Court and the Winston Churchill statue. Now tonight's question. Name the two senior purveyors of beignets and cafe au lait and their largest location in the city, Email your answers to steppingout at wyes.org. We also call them donuts, of course. <laughs> and one of our prizes is a copy of the book Cinderella Battistella, courtesy of Pelican Publishing. All right. A dish towel with the message, I love gardening very mulch, from our friends at wearablevegetables.com, and a $50 gift certificate from our friends at Kitchen Witch Cookbooks. Don't forget their Taco Tuesdays. And you can go to wyes.org for our online calendar to see our lineup of events, including Noma's current exhibit, East of the Mississippi, 19th Century Photography. Also, Chris Champagne signing his new book at Maple Leaf Bar this Sunday at 3. I would call Maple Leaf to double check because of the weather. And the Christmas Cantata concert on October 14th at the Convention Center at 7 o'clock. You can also link to our WYS YouTube channel to view our program. Now, that wonderful duo, Bob and David. So this piece was, first of all, it was a musical, a New Orleans take on Cinderella Battistella. But then, what happens? We got calls from Pelican Press. And said, how would you like to write a book? <laughs> and we said, why Cinder not? Cinderella Battistella, at one, uh, about three years ago, exactly three years ago, was done by three different local theaters in the same season. So they were getting this, they were being inundated with Cinderella Battistella information. <laughs> so they said, well, what is this? And so they came to us. And um, so we had to learn how to turn a musical comedy into a book. Well, what, what about, we'll be showing some images from the book, too, in terms of the artist, you, you would, uh, that connection, how did all that happen? Um, Herb Leonard is um, Seattle, right? He's from Seattle. Yeah. So you did and this a little he, bit long distance? He's very familiar uh -huh. with New Orleans. Good. And the only thing that he didn't know that he asked us about in our text was, Cinderella lives in an old rickety camelback house, and he said, what's a camelback house? <laughs> so my wife, who does um, uh, house uh -huh. portraits of New Orleans architecture, sent him a picture, and it's, and and you can see it in the in the book, but Herb's art is just tremendous. Um, uh, he um, he loves cars, obviously too, because um, in in the story, um, uh, Mother Larue, the fairy godmother, mm -hmm. turns an eggplant into a purple limousine to take Cinderella yeah. to the twelfth night ball. <laughs> oh, oh, and, oh, there's um, king cake, of course. Uh, there's the king cake. <laughs> the, uh, one of the characters is Harvey Canale, the king cake king. There's Mother Larue <laughs> with uh, Buster Crabbe, one of Cinderella's friends. Uh -huh. um, but when they go <gasps> off to in their in their um, in their uh, uh, King cake in their purple limousine. Uh -huh. It's a Cadillac 1957 58. 
limousine specifically because when I, that's when Bob and I were kids and we knew cars. You kids knew cars back then. They all look alike now mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, they changed them every year back then. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and they had, um, the, the tail lights looked like an American Indian with a mohawk haircut, that was the thin, and two red uh, tail lights, <laughs> and then the exhaust, <laughs> the Indian looked like that. And I said, this guy is tremendous, you know? He, he And um, uh, a couple of other things is um, uh, we, in the 1950s, you know, there, there were certain cultural icons, and the first girl who ever played Cinderella Battistella looked like Marilyn Monroe, ah. and we told him this. And then one of our actors, Robert Lee, um, when he was doing his song, the King Cake Cantata, um, he held a rolling pin up to his <laughs> mouth and made it like a microphone and did an Elvis. So, oh, so ever you since then, um, Harvey Canale Jr. has been Elvis. <laughs> Harvey uh, Canale. And, and if Marilyn Monroe fans will notice that Cinderella at the Twelfth Night Ball wears a, a costume that's very familiar to fans of Miss Monroe and her movies. Ah, ah you've got some book signings right. coming up too. Okay. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> 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 the lovely people down at Pelican have signed us uh -huh. up for all sorts of things. Okay, you've got um, one, let's see though, on the 14th. We have Barnes, and, Barnes and Noble, Noble. That's a good on one. That's a big Highway. one. <laughs> um, we have, uh, we're doing all the Barnes and Nobles. We're doing three Barnes and Nobles oh, in good. one that, month. You're on the circuit, Don. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have the 14th, okay. <laughs> and the book is also available at the Magic Box on Magazine Street. Oh, okay. And um, it's yeah. available on, on Amazon.com. Amazon. 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 Oh, and it's a great Christmas book for yeah, people. Yeah, well, hold it up, you know, so people can see the oh, size God, of it. Yeah. <laughs> please do, please do. Okay. <laughs> but, and the, the back is gorgeous, uh, yes. too. That's my I mean, favorite okay. drawing. Cinderella David, uh, with her friends, yeah. the, the, the crab and the crawfish. Burl crab and uh, 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 Buster crab and burl crawfish. Uh -huh. I'm well, sorry, Well, David, Bob. between you and Bob, my goodness, what, moon over Montevideo? Fill, fill it in for me, your Memora resume. Memora of the Islands, Memora babes. and the Curse Memora. of the Voodoo so Queen. So many wonderful evenings. Which went for Tuts. one year at a hotel. Trial to be Bed Wolf, Silver Scream. And of course, collaborations Sin with Ricky Graham. Both of us have collaborated both with did, Ricky. Yeah. yeah, both of you too. So many, many nice evenings. And how? And uh, you were theater critic at the Picayune for how long? I was. I was a reporter, and I did. Um, uh, I was a second string critic who did theater reviews and and um, uh, movie reviews on the side. And then in 1974, I became the Picayune's first TV critic. So for 20 some years, I did nothing but TV, and that was the period during which we could, you know, without having a conflict of interest, mm -hmm. I could write for the theater, I mm -hmm. could produce for the theater, I could commission plays for the theater, which I did for the Tennessee Williams Festival yes. on three yes. different occasions, uh -huh. and, and just, you know, indulge my love of theater. <laughs> and um, Ty Tracy is the man, we dedicate, our dedication is to yes, Ty absolutely. Tracy, who told us, you can do this. Ty's Giving two, you confidence, Ty's that's so important. two great dictums to everybody who worked at his theater were, you can do this. That was usually auditions. Mm -hmm. And then once they got the part and they weren't performing up the stuff, he'd say, you can be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one more. Having been an alum of the Door <laughs> Theater, uh, project, project, yeah. <laughs> project. Anyway, it's great to have you all with us. We're really delighted. <laughs> And now it's time for our Artist Spotlight. Tonight we are featuring artwork by local photographer Harriet Bloom. This is called City Park Lagoon. Ooh, so pretty. Bloom hand tints her photos in order to create a sense of the romantic and lots of the peace which is brought out in an etherealness to her work. This is Live Oak with Fern and Moss. Her work, as well as that of Greg Arsenault, the cabinet maker and furniture maker, and Peg Usner, her beautiful landscapes, will be on display tomorrow at Greg Arsenault Cabinet Makers in Covington for the Louisiana A Cultural Connection event from 1 to 4. And it is a go. I double checked, it is a go. Anyway, speaking of a go, Michael, 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 you've been cooking since 16. You are now the head of Trinity Restaurant. And uh, first of all, explain that name, Trinity, because I think some some people would be curious. Uh, well, you know, Trinity is what we call the Holy Trinity. It's bell peppers, onions, celery. As you opposed know, to the, the uh, religious the, reference. <laughs> yes. Of course, but you uh -huh. know, Trinity, the building itself was built by the Ursuline nuns early in mm. uh, French Quarter history, so it also kind of has a connection to that. Trinity oh. as well. All right. Well, um, how long have you all been open now? It's been a while. Uh, uh, just over a year and a half. There was a total reworking. It was Maximo's for many it years. It was that Maximo's space. for decades. And, um, 
Yeah, it's sold um, and was renovated uh, over a million dollar renovation. So it's, it's gorgeous. It's really nice. It's yeah. beautiful. Now you are uh, very kindly doing a special dinner for WYES. So I tell us indeed. a little bit about that dinner because I think they're almost sold out. They've got some, a few seats left. Uh -huh. I hope I hope it sells. It sells out. <laughs> uh, so it's a four course. I believe it's ninety five dollars. It's all for charity. Yeah. Um, so. It, what we're going to do is first course is going to be a scallop and corn broth soup. Um, we're going to do a coffee rub pork belly, which Ooh. is for the community coffee segment of the, of the, the dinner, right? Uh -huh. Which is a competition. So yeah, it has crossed. to do made something a dish made with coffee. With I coffee, think that's so correct? Creative, so yeah. yeah. Um, fourth course, uh, third course is a half a duck. So we're going to do a duck breast. We're going to do foie gras, and we're going to do duck leg confit. Mm all on one dish and the fourth course is oh pardon me it's five courses <laughs> so okay. we're going to do a wagyu filet mignon so very fancy mm. with bone marrow um bordelais uh, we're going to do truffled spicy sweet potatoes so we're going to keep it w with fall flavors and then for dessert we're going to do warm plums with uh, creme anglaise. So WYES.org for all the details and also Eventbrite. And then you've also got uh, a fall menu you're working on? We're working on a fall menu, yep. Um, hopefully should be out by next week. And a Halloween menu, we've got lots of menus coming up. We got the drag brunch coming up. So right. it's going to be <laughs> you said. a busy, busy month. Um, one of the things um, in terms of researching here, um, you really enjoy the farm to table, the fresh uh, ingredients. Absolutely. So. Do you right. have a Is favorite it, herb? Uh, yeah, cilantro. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's very that, polarizing. That's, a, that's an orb. easy one for me. Yeah, it uh, is, right? Some, some people, people love it. Some think it tastes like soap. I know. It's a it's a weird neurological thing, I believe. It is, exactly. Right. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're with us, and, uh, and thank, thank you, you for Happy participating in our, in our dinner. Most appreciated. And tonight, we have more theater, more theater. Even though Al's not here, we've got theater. <laughs> tonight, we have NOLA Projects production, a scene from the satirical comedy musical, you're in town, and Hope is played by Maggie Windler, and she encounters Bobby Strong, played by Keith Clavery, who is distraught over his father's arrest and wondering if he could have done something. He tells us to Hope that his heart feels either cold or empty, but Hope tells Bobby that the only answer is to follow his heart. With Ronald Joseph on accompanying the piano, here's the song, Follow Your Heart. Do you think you'd be feeling as bad as you do if you didn't have a heart? I don't know. Yeah, I suppose not. Of course you wouldn't, because then you'd be dead. When darkness surrounds you and you lose your way, you have your own compass that turns night to day. And it's even with you before you depart. Be still, hear it beating, it's leading you far. Follow my heart. But to where? To wherever your heart tells you to go. Even there? Even to the clouds, if that's what your heart commands. What's it saying now? I don't know. I don't know how to listen to my heart. You have to listen carefully. Here, let me try. There it is. It's saying, we all want a world filled with peace and with joy, with plenty of water. Girl and boy, that bright shining world is just waiting to start. No meanness or sorrow, just cleanness tomorrow. If only you follow your heart, follow into the open air, far from squalor and noise. Follow someone is waiting. Someone who shares all your hopes and your joys. Someone is waiting there. Why, my heart was saying those exact words just the other day. It was? Sure it was. Squalor and noise, hopes and joys. It was telling me about all those things. I didn't know two hearts could speak as one. I didn't either. Until now. Here, listen. 
Someday I'll meet someone whose heart joins with mine. Aortas and arteries all intertwined. They'll beat so much stronger than they could apart. Eight chambers of muscle to hustle the love in our heart. Love is kind and considerate. Love is peaceful and fair. Love can creep up so suddenly when you least think of it. Your love is there. We all want a world filled with peace and with joy, with plenty of justice for each girl and boy. That bright shining world is just waiting to start. No anger or badness, just laughter. If you're in town, we'll be at UNO's Performing Arts Center on Lakeshore Drive on weekends through October 14th. Visit NOLAProject.com for their schedule, you know, because of the pending hurricane and all that. All that stuff. Oh, we wish everybody well. And now it's time, though, for our picks. Bob. I would like to recommend the uh, Civic with Santa at the Chateau Country Club in December. Because you're a, making pillows. These yes, days. It's, That's it's, something else it's that a, you It's do, a huh? fundraiser for the Kenner Food Bank. All right. Thank you. Poppy. Next weekend, when the sun shines again, yes. it's time for the 44th annual Undewey Festival in Laplace, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's over 100 different real Cajun dishes to eat. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> David. Okay, um, Harold Show Prince. Guy. <laughs> Harold Prince has a uh, the producer director has a new book out called Sense of Occasion that coincides with the uh, review of his uh, some of his work on Broadway right now. He dishes gossip, dirt, but it's mostly the nuts and bolts of more than 50 years of producing and directing. Broadway theater. Which includes West Side Story and yeah. Fiddler. Yeah. I, I think most people don't uh, even realize yeah. that. They know the Sondheim and collaboration. Sondheim and Andrew Avita. Lloyd Webber. Those are the, <laughs> the great collaborations that he's yeah. had. And this is for Bob. Oh, okay. Well, look at that, Bob. You get a present on this, on this TV. There's lots of advantages to being on Stephanie. <laughs> Chef Michael. Yes. Next week, all October long, Halloween menu at Trinity. We're going to do things, uh, dishes, Silence of the Ducks. And <laughs> <laughs> is there any pumpkin and involved? <laughs> Nightmare on Elk Street. So oh, we've, got, we've got a really right, fun menu. That is menu right up our alley, menu. kiddo. <laughs> I love that. And now my picks. Stepping Out Theater critic Alan Mason will be back soon, but you can read his reviews of Chicago at the Jefferson Performing Arts Center and you're in town, and it's at his new website, theatercriticism.com, and it's it's theater, T-R-E, okay? And he'll be reviewing Southern Rep's Fun Home uh, on our October 20th show. And we are all looking ahead. There will be a two-day event at the Audubon Tea Room called Wine, Dine, and Design, which benefits the privately funded Bastion Veterans Housing Development. It's a preview party starting at 6 p.m. on Wednesday night. That's October the 11th this Wednesday in a luncheon on October the 12th. Go to Wine, Dine and Design for details on all of that. And if you have never been to that, let me just say, local interior designers decorate the tables. Very, very creative, really fun. And once again, also looking ahead, the Pacifica String Quartet with guitarist Sharon Isbin will perform at Tulane's Dixon Hall on October the 17th at 7.30 p.m. Visit friendsofmusic.org uh, for more details. And now we leave you with scenes from the New Orleans Opera's production of Pagliacci, along with Cavalleria Rusticana, which has a performance at the Mahalia Jackson Theater this Sunday at 2.30. Once again, I would double check that on the website. Here is Frank Peretta as the jealous clown Canio 
with a classic aria, Vesta la Juba, meaning put on your costume. <laughs> and just, as I said, just double check. Thank you all so very much for being here. It's great to have you. Thank you. And now we will look forward to Vesta la Juba. Good night.